previously on the day heading to Camaro Fest. Man, filling up with a, what, three quarters of a tank it took 29. And you see who did it. And it's raining, it's horrible here. Look who pulled up, cute and chaotic is here. We got a yellow bumblebee figure in Camaro here. People to come here, then we about to hit the road cause these cars do not like rain. The tires, the ZL1, do not like rain. When I said the Goodyear Supercar 3s do okay in the rain, this is the max I would do. Y'all see how heavy the downpour is, man. This is the uh, max I would drive in these conditions. Like these tires is, when I say okay, I literally mean okay. The soft man, and look, 100 degrees. 100 degrees in Kentucky, man. This is freaking crazy. Yo, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to the channel, man. And today, we is at a YouTuber house. Well, we calling a YouTuber because we got nothing, nothing but a bunch of YouTubers here. We got my boy, Taz be grinding back there. He cleaned up his car right okay. now. You know, we got that Z01 should look familiar by now if it doesn't. We started breaking the internet with these two cars back there. You got Q to Chaotic right back there. Um, so it's like six o'clock in the morning. Right now we all rushing to clean our cars and get ready to go to the road course because we're going to the Corvette Museum. And I gotta hurry up and finish this intro because as y'all can see, the lens is getting foggy and it's not because I didn't clean it. It's 90 degrees in the morning right now. Leaving from the AC to now, it's messing up the whole lens, y'all. So I'm gonna show y'all a little quick view of the Airbnb. Um, and then after that, Next time you see me, we at the track. All right, man. This is the morning. This is the day for the track, man. Got to get all this water, man. Uh, this being Airbnb, it's pretty dope. Like, uh, how it just all laid out up in here. It's pretty nice. We got about, we got about, what, like four? We got four people. I can't remember who I'm sharing the Airbnb with. But right now, early in the morning, we got Q the Chaotic right here getting ready for the roll course. That's what today is, roll course day. This is one of the rooms. Um, got somebody over there asleep, but I ain't gonna do them like that early in the morning. Then we got the bathroom right here. Washer and dry room back here. We keep, we, we keep seeing this guy here, but we got bunk beds <laughs> back here. So this is like the whole layout of the Airbnb, but it's so far pretty dope. We're going to do more of what we're doing here uh, once we get back at the track. Because last night, I'm not going to lie, like, the cameras wasn't cut on. We were just getting a feel for the place in the whole area, though. So... Man, we, we almost here. We just uh, posted at the Shell gas station, man, to get some gas real cool. We're going to have to fill up. It's right around the corner, actually, so that's going to be pretty dope. And it's official before I hit the track. Your boy has officially hit 5,000 miles on the 1LE, man. So, I'm running the car, man. I'm driving her how she meant to be driven, man. But yeah, let's go out here and see uh, how much it costs for gas right now. Because here, it's about, dog, it is cheap in here. It's 495, 435. Back at home, we can pay like five or something. Five right now. And it's like so hot and foggy, man. It don't make no sense, man. No sense. Like, do you see how cheap gas is here, bro? Like, look at how cheap it is. Ooh, ZL1. Uh-oh. Or or what? You got you gonna show him up? Of course, man. Look, man. I didn't put this wing on here for looks, man. Oh, look, look he too. He my, talking. My to the ground, see, get Ooh. good. Oh, <laughs> oh, he gonna make sure they get good and they go here because he, he got the MRT boys on here. Yeah. He got the H pipe system. We gonna, what's they up? Got the, they got the 110 back here. They got racing gas up here. Yeah, yeah. I ain't about to get it, how much is it? $8.50. Oh, that ain't bad. That's just, uh, how much it costs at home. No, it's about like $8.99 when you did it. Oh, see, 50 cents cheaper. Look at that. They got 110 right here. Racing fuel right here, man. Same as home. So, and 93, but we ain't gonna use it right now. And like I said, like the the track is like a few ways down there at this light. We are gonna have to hook it right. I'm curious to see how much it costs. Cost Q's uh, B to fill up, man. I don't want these problems. How much gas you have in there? Huh? 
How much gas you had in there already? Like an eighth of a tank. See, now eight. See, oh, see, I'm curious to see how much it costs. Look, he already seven gallons in and already thirty-five dollars. I don't know. We are gonna check in real quick. Oh, look at that. 66 to fill it up. That ain't that ain't that bad at home. We probably been out of $80. Right, man. So that, that's pretty good here, man. You think we maybe we should move to Kentucky, man. All right, man. Ke oh. Kentucky. Look, he said no. <laughs> hey, we had a bad experience. We had a little bad experience yesterday in a, in a Walmart, but it was funny, man. It was funny. We making the best of it. So uh, it feels so good, but we need to get to this track because we got to meet up. So I'll see y'all when we get there. Hey, hey Taz, I, I don't know if you know this, bro, but uh, I know you saw that sign when we came in, right? What's up? I didn't catch it because I was driving, but you see that sign that said all vehicles uh, must be reading 103 on a decimeter. We checked that last week, you know, on Woodward. Yeah, and you was like at... You, 50 miles away, though, they said. Yeah, but from, uh, you, you was at 125, 50 miles away, though. No, it was not. <laughs> <laughs> But it's not that bad though, but the track gonna be wet a little bit, but that ain't gonna stop us from racing. That's not gonna stop me from racing. And as y'all can see, it's like once this dark cloud pass over, then I think we might be good to go. Um, but now it's, uh, we did two sessions, so now I'm about to get something to eat. Um, and after that, we about to just go ahead and keep on racing again, man. Where's that, Tony? There you go.
Catch up, Ed. Catch up. So this is what the tires is looking like now, man. At, with the track alignment, as y'all can see, it's like even all the way across. It's wearing on the inside a little bit versus when I had my last setup, uh, it was wearing on the outside. So that's pretty good. And um, yeah, man, I'm liking how this setup is. I caught up to a lot of people um, in my last run here. I don't know my best time. I got to look at the footage, but just looking at the tire wear uh, so far in the front, man, I'm very pleased with the track alignment that I have so far in the front. And I don't know about, the, I'm pleased with the whole setup, to be honest. I'm not gonna tweak the rear yet, but based on what I got so far, uh, I'm pretty good. Q, I gotta probably ask Q and I gotta ask Ted. This is their first time here. Like, so no cap, like this, y'all got three sessions in. How y'all feel, Taz, about y'all first session the at the road course? Because, you know what I'm saying? I can't even talk right, but my last run, I was in the wrong class, okay? Did you move up a group? I did move up a so, group. I see he winning right there. He moved up a group. What about you, Q? What you think about your first track day, bro? I feel sick. You feel sick? Why you uh, feel this, sick? This not my first time at a track, though. Oh, no, no, that's why right. you went to Waterford Hills, but uh, it's your first time here at the Corvette Museum, though. First time in a Camaro. Oh, yeah, because that's why he had the Mustang last time. So yeah, what do you think? Completely different track experiences between the car. But uh, yeah, it was fun, man. It was mad fun. I was probably the slowest person out there. Yeah. I was hey, faster look. than. Hey, I got one overtake. Oh, I, 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 I got an overtake today. I don't know about you. What? Hey, look, I got an overtake. See, see, that means mean, see, that mean he passed. And there's footage. Y'all see me laughing at the lap, at the lap. And then, I see, Kalik right, right there. He our, he our cameraman right there. He right there, Man. see? He got he got Man. all the footage on camera, Q. so he we, he know Q we ain't, ain't got no overtakes today. Q you got an overtake? You got any overtakes? You got any overtakes? No, we can. We can. I mean, we're like, zooming in. He lying. Right. See, look. Here we go. Here we go. Hey, look, if you got to explain, look, he, he this, lying. This was the first time I was able to pass. Okay. I was talking. I was with the wrong group. Hey. <laughs> yeah, okay. 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 But I was the last one to go. Okay. And I was having a conversation with my man that's on the video on the GoPro. See, see, see. Huh? Why ain't you getting an overtake? Why, why you know, why you know overtake? It was because of the power of our house. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't have the daily dose. Ah. They said he lacking food, man. See, he lacking food and energy, man. <laughs> but we about to do one more session, man. And then after that, we about to go get something to eat and head back to the Airbnb, man. <laughs>